Okay, this is a video for the Yin Lu Mei M400. Uh, it is an absolutely amazing sounding device, and I think it's got more power than anything that you're looking at right here. The XD05 Plus, more power. Mm, it's definitely got a lot more power than the FIO. The, I, the power deck I can't say because it seems quite powerful, but I've only used it with a phone. Mm, so using it with a PC could get really, really, really loud. I don't know what the limit of that is, so I can't speak to that. But it doesn't fit my lifestyle. Um, so, I don't know. But it's more powerful than this, 1000 milliwatts into 32. Uh, and this is 535. I don't know what this is because they're, they're only giving me the VRMS, the volts. Which is, they say it's got 8 or something. Max single-ended 4.2 volt RMS balance max 8.5 volt RMS no load. I don't know. Um, it's it's more powerful than this. It's more powerful than this. I confirm that using the look at how ratty those are nowadays. The SC2000 um, playing a track by uh, Baby D slamming Cadillac doors. This is nuts. So sound quality wise, it's better than these. Power wise, I, it's better than the other two practical portable ones. Whereas this is going to draw power off of your device. This won't, this won't, and this won't. So more power than this and more power than this. Sound quality, it sounds like it's on another level. I know my limits. I know that there's new toy bias. I know myself. I'm a single child. Been spoiled my whole life. A hard worker. Admit when I'm wrong got my weak points but I admit it and I know when I get a new device that I, I fall in love with it but there's a part of that that I got I'm not completely detached from reality I still know when something sounds a little like I'm, I'm trying to make it work like I want this thing to be awesome like this is just totally blowing me away the build quality it's got the volume wheel kind of like an Astell and Kern it's got the same angles as that it's build the tolerances all around this device it's from a company I don't know so that's important it's perfect so the build quality is excellent it's got balanced this doesn't uh, this has more power than this anyway and this sounds better than this does anyway so it doesn't really matter this has got Bluetooth uh, I'm getting into TWS so that's not really a big concern for me I wrecked this over the A2. I think that this sounds better than that DAP. And I like that DAP, but I think this sounds better. I, it sounds better than uh, everything I've got except the Calyx M. So if you're an amp DAC person, I, I, would, I would highly recommend that you grab this. This is, I've listened to all the quirky chi fi stuff, the Zishan and all this stuff. This is legit. 44.99 EQ, implemented well. This sounds really, really good. And like I said, if you're a DAP person, that means that the FIO is probably going to sound quite good. Um, and I'm going to be getting that myself or from them. I think from myself, I'm going to get it. Uh, but if you're an amp DAC person, this, this is peerless in the portable realm. I don't know anything that sounds quite as good as this. And I'm not going to talk about music because that's this these drivers, it's that headphone, that, that's the final say. I know what the M900 sound like, they're a little bit light on bass, but mm, I can get them to kick the kick drum good and I can hear the four strings on the bass guitar, it's got a little bit of grain in the treble. It sounds like that with all of this stuff. But there's a quality and uh, the, the best, I'm going to explain this to you using bass which sounds odd, but I did a bass test with the SC2000 because I was going to demonstrate it, this thing's power. But then I thought, don't do it because most of the subs on my channel have never seen that kind of video and they might be like, what the fuck? Where you put the paper on the cup and you just see how much... You'd be stunned at what people said, it doesn't do anything. Like, well, because most cans don't. This was making the paper on that go crazy using the Onkyo and using a slope more than this would. Not only that, but as much as I could put it on my head and listen to it, when this is on its highest gain setting and then I got the volume all the way up and then you hit the bass switch, it turns into a muddy fucking mess. 
on the SC2000 and the SC can, can handle a ton. This all the way up to 100 on its highest, this has got three gains just like this, it, it was holding its shit together and giving me a massive bass kick. The, the, the SCs will take anything portable. The, the, there's, there's nothing that'll bust that up. I've had it for years. The, this is this is the finest bass presentation that I've ever heard. So the audio, uh, Welcome to Machine was the special moment yesterday with the my favorite IEMs, my new favorite IEMs, and this Note 4, and this device, and I just had a, one of those moments like with the Mojo where like, wow, I'm going to remember this. That's how good this is. And, it, and in the power user realm, it gave me the cleanest high power SZ2000 kick that I've ever gotten. Because I always use portable with the SC, period. This gave me the hardest hit I've ever gotten. Period. It's an amp, partly. It's got to do that. Does that really, really, really good. More than you need because you're going to damage your hearing. And it's got the audiophile side with the top of the line DAC chip that just sounds like it's on another level. I will say that the power DAC this sounds like a surgical knife and it comes with HP toy so it's a fantastic thing but it's something that you would best pair with a PC because it draws power off of its source if if it's it doesn't have its own battery if they upgrade this to something like this with the same architecture if they can do that that would be something I'd be very interested in but as it stands right now besides the Calyx M and maybe the Sony WM brothers which I, I'm just such a fanboy this is probably the best playback that I've got out of all my stuff, not including desktop stuff. Portable. This is probably the best portable playback device that is in my collection. And the Calyx M Audio's sound comes from a slightly more than usual distortion. With, you can't notice that and it doesn't mask anything in the audio but it gives it that warm musical thing. Somebody on a forum brought that up that knows the person that created it and that's what more the part the magic is. And, I love it. I, I I got it. I can show it to you guys if you want. But in a portable playback, this is it. This is the king. This is mind-blowingly epic. Um, not I, that's, I say fucking crazy words, don't I? It's the best musical playback device that I have in my collection, and I got a lot of stuff. I guess that's the best way to put it. So I let it go with that. I got music, but I'm really a person that believes that this stuff, this this needs to do a good job, but the transducers, the drivers, are what has the final say on what goes in here. So I could talk about, it sounds like the mids are, you know, using music about a DAC amp, but I think that I'm getting really close to bullshit zone, if I were to do that, to pull the music into an amp DAC discussion. So I'll spare you, because I don't even believe that myself. There's some colors and tones, and but it's it's difficult to describe you can't OCD with music with an amp DAC and say that I can hear this and I can't hear that. It's That would have to be a piece of crap amp DAC to not catch certain musical cues and then another could. These are all catching the same things that I can notice. Nothing jumped out at me. Um, it's when you start to power up that stuff gets different and just at regular listening volume this is on another level from these. It's really stunning. It's 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 better than A2. It's better than the M11. It's better than the DX160, which is right there. Um, it's better than everything I've got besides the Calyx M. And in a technical aspect, that's related to THD. And this this is just straight up balls. Awesome. Love it. Highly recommended. Sorry not to get into music, but that's not... I don't believe in that. That's for reviews of... Um, speaker drivers to get pushed unless there's something wrong and I'm out so that's the M400 by Yin Lu Mei it gets highly wrecked it's an absolutely epic piece of gear and I think you ought to probably get it if you're a DAP person of course you're gonna think otherwise but if you're amp DAC this has got the power and it's got top of the line specs and it sounds like that and it's put in a frame that's perfect there's no they even mimicked Astell and Kern's volume. And I'm all, I don't care. 
still. It's balanced. It's dope. And I'm out.